Hello, my creepy lovelies, and welcome back to the conclusion to The Stranger's Gift. Mama says, he's lying. Don't listen to him. He said that you framed him. That you're the killer. Why else would you change our identity and go into hiding? If you're innocent and the killer was in jail, why hide? The past was too painful. I needed to start anew. And I was always scared. Scared that somehow he would get out and find us. He said he never stopped loving me. Don't listen to him. He escaped from prison months ago. Claims you framed him too well to ever be let go legally. I didn't. The police couldn't find you to warn you about the escape. You had hidden too well. But not well enough. That's what I was going to say. Like, yeah, obviously not well enough. <laughs> Honey, I'm so sorry about all this. Are you admitting you're a killer? No. Dad swears he wouldn't either. Don't call him dad. He may technically be your father, but he's not a true parent. He doesn't seem like a killer. And how does a killer seem, Sophia? <laughs> of course he doesn't. I wouldn't have married him if he seemed like a guy that skinned people. Skinned? Skinned people? Forget I said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. He wants you to believe him so you'll cooperate. If you do what he says, it'll make it harder for the police to find you. I don't know what to believe anymore. And I never thought I'd get a second chance to have my dad back. I want to trust him. But I want to trust you, too. Think about this logically. Which one of us raised you and loved you? And which one sent you a creepy package and kidnapped you? I'm going to ask him. Don't ask. He's explaining. He wanted to get me something for the milestones he's missed. Holidays, the egg dyeing kit. My first haircut, the Barbie doll. He missed these milestones because he killed people. <laughs> Birthdays, the candles, and cake. Said he needed to make it creepy. Needed to make me call the police so I would go with him. Or he could be like a normal person and talk to her rationally like, Hey, so I'm your father. Would you like to get to know me? He could have done that. <laughs> Why didn't he just email? <laughs> he knew I would have talked to you before meeting up with him. And if you knew he was around, you'd make us hide again. That's true, isn't it? Ask about the teeth. It's for losing my baby teeth. Ask him where he got the teeth. <laughs> Thank you. Stole them from a dentist. Ask him where in a dentist's office do they keep children's teeth. <laughs> Press him for details. <clears throat> That's when you'll catch him in a lie. He yelled that you're ruining this again. We're pulling up at a farmhouse. It looks abandoned. I hate farmhouses also. <laughs> Stay strong. He has a syringe. Says it's full of a tranquilizer. And I have to stay still so he can give me that shot. Whatever you do, don't let him stick you with that needle. He's getting out of the car. He's so much bigger than me. How can I stop him? Do whatever you have to do. He's about to open the door, car door. Honey, are you okay? Sophia? Are you okay? Find out Sophia's fate in the conclusion of The Stranger's Gift. No, I'm mad at Sophia now. <laughs> Because seriously, she's in there, well, oh, Bob, you're just a horrible person. But now she realizes that he's a horrible person because he didn't have to kidnap her. And why is he injecting her? <sighs> okay, Sophia says yes. <laughs> Maybe. What do you mean? I mean, I'm safe for now. When he opened the door, I kicked him in the face. <laughs> I think I broke his nose. So you got away? He grabbed me by the legs and tried to stick that needle in me. I kicked him again. That's my girl. But he pulled off my shoes, and then I ran into the cornfield. But he's looking for me. I can hear him. Can you keep running? I'm barefoot. My feet are already bleeding from when I ran to get away. Then hide, baby. He's calling out, telling me he loves me. That he just wants to save me from you. Keep hiding. What he's saying is getting meaner. He says He's saying if I don't come out, I'll be punished. That little girls need to obey their fathers. Whatever you do, stay hidden. He started to call me names, saying that maybe I take after you. That maybe he should just hack me up and leave me in bloody pieces. <laughs> well, you know, he's probably just angry, Sophia. You should go out and hug him. <laughs> oh, God. He thought the best revenge would just be living well. 
then he wanted to be a good father. Well, he's off to a fantastic start. <laughs> but now, he says maybe he'll do to me what he did to the other bad boys and girls. Stay hidden. The police will find you. He's going to send another gift to the house. This one with my corpse in it. Mom, I'm really scared. Honey, stay strong. Don't make a sound. I can't believe I ever thought you were a killer, seriously. It doesn't matter now. I should have believed you. I understand why you wa would want to hide from this monster. I wish I had told you. I made sure you stayed far away from him. I just realized. Didn't we think he was able to see our texts? Even if he can't see, it's okay. It's not like you told me where you're hiding. But maybe that's why he's staying close by. He knows I didn't keep running. Then are you going to run? Wait! Don't text me that. Don't tell me if you're running or hiding. He's singing now. It's a lullaby. Rockabye baby. Don't listen. He's peering around all the corn stalks. Singing down will come baby, cradle and all. Repeating that line over and over again. Stay calm. <laughs> he found me! Run! The police say they're close. They're not close enough. You just have to last a little longer. Baby? Sophia? Hello there. Yeah, I don't think that's Sophia. <laughs> Sophia? Thank God you're still safe. It's not Sophia. Try again. Oh God. She couldn't run that fast without her shoes. Let go of my little girl. You shouldn't have turned me in all those years ago. The three of us could have been such a happy family. Don't hurt her. She's fine. Sound asleep thanks to the tranquilizer. Put up quite a fight. I think she gets that from me. What are you going to do? We'll just be a happy family once again. So happy we could die. Don't worry. You'll be joining us soon. Oh my gosh, that's not the end. Yep, that's the end. Okay, wow, that's messed up. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that request, and I'll see you next time for another cliffhanger text story.